Andrew, Andy, Andy baby, you know, you do grind my gears, and for that, you're gonna have to pay. Andrew, Andy, Andy baby, how does your ass feel after I ripped you a new one? Right now, Andrew, you remind me of an old Frank Zappa song called, I've Been In You, and the lyrics go like this. Oh, little girl, there ain't no time to wash your stinky hands. Go ahead and roll over. I'm going in you again. In you again. <laughs> in you again. The, the point I'm trying to make with you is I understand that the argument is made to be very general, that evolution is a proven fact. What is a proven fact is something that no one disagrees with, and that's the the genetics of it, okay? Actually, evolution is a scientific theory, and theory is the highest ranking they give in science. No, it isn't. It's a, a law. You better watch what you say, Andrew, because I'm not going to be gentle. Things like the law of gravity. You start with a hypothesis. If a hypothesis it then moves to theory, and then it moves to a law. So you're, it's not the highest. I'm sorry. You moron. You fucking moron. Scientists stopped using the word law over a hundred years ago. The problem with calling things laws is that they're never perfect. They're never complete. Take Newton's law of gravity, for example. It has limitations. There are things it can't explain. You always need a new law to supersede or complete the previous one. Einstein's theory of general relativity completed and fixed the problems with Newton's law of gravity. Please note that I said Einstein's theory, not his law, his theory. That's because that's what it's called. It's called Einstein's theory of general relativity. Not because it needs some more testing before it can be called a law. All new discoveries are called theories. And that's it. Theories go beyond facts. They explain facts. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it, you fucking asshole! And if you don't believe me, try googling Einstein's law of general relativity, and you'll end up with a list of theory, 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 theory. I would strongly recommend. Uh, I'd strongly recommend to you that you question your own presuppositions that you approach this with, and 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 really reevaluate it. I'd strongly recommend that you question your presuppositions. And I'll tell you why I, I recommend that for you. I'll tell you why I recommend that for you. It's because you don't know what the bloody hell you're talking about. Because of a very okay. simple gut, say? You're still diverted from the, the original point I was bringing up. Why bring in Christian creationism stories, but not these other religion stories? Why should we bring in one, but not all of them? You bring well, in one, it opens up all the floodgates. The the issue I brought up was, you know, the issue of not teaching. I, I wouldn't argue for teaching uh, necessarily creation in school. I wouldn't be as opposed to uh, the teaching, you know, intelligent design. Creationism and intelligent design are one and the same. I guess you've never heard of the case of Kitz Miller versus Dover, have you? It was demonstrated in front of a judge beyond a shadow of a doubt that those two theories are one and the same. Uh, but the real in a science class, but the reality is is that why teach Christian because it's true. But of course uh, you teach the truth How do you know school. Because See, without every, every other religion will say the same thing about their creation myth. And that's where that's where the argument comes in. Now and, and look at how do you know how do you know which one to stick with? Give it to him, kid. Here's your how you know that we're, we're listen to the language you use, a creation myth. And now, ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention as Andrew, Andy, Andy baby, 
avoids answering the question. See, in, even in your language, you expose the presupposition that you already, your starting point already negates any possibility of understanding the truth. With, without God, you can't understand anything. You can't know anything. Typical presuppositional bullshit. You're making a claim without any proof to back it up. Anyway, what does it have to do with the question? How can That's you have an to assert that? Say again? That's great for you to assert that, but okay. so someone how... who doesn't believe in God, I don't need that point for this. Wait, wait, wait. Without God, I can't believe anything. Fine. So you deny uh, that God exists, correct? That your story is true. You, you deny that God exists? I said I don't believe in any. Do, okay. So I've you, never said you one doesn't believe. exist. Can you, can you pour me a cup of belief? Can you pour me a cup of God? <sighs> yeah. Do you, do you, can, is belief a material thing? Yeah, it's a believable thing. It's a, it's a physical thing. Yeah, I can pour you a cup of belief right now. You can pour me a cup of belief. How about yeah, an ability to me? reason? You don't believe me? How about an ability to reason? Is that material? Uh, yes. Really? And what type of material is that? You know. You said you believe it. I, I don't know because it's not material. It's an immaterial thing. Just like morality, just like intelligence, just like knowledge. And, and all these things that you rely on when you deny that you have a belief in God, you're relying on God to deny God. Nope. It's you who relies on the flying spaghetti monster to deny the flying spaghetti monster. That's what, you, what you're doing. And here's why it's such an important thing, though, Random, is because... You're asserting your God is true without proving it. There's no actual evidence other than your argumentation. You can argue something all day, but without evidence, it's not true. Okay, what, what kind of evidence would convince you? Better evidence than any evidence that any other religion can present. You got a holy book? They've got a holy book. You've got a virgin birth? They've got a virgin birth. Bring some proof that's better than any other proof they can bring me. God, when, Your God would know what it would take for him to convince me that he was real. He, he's already done that, so you already know he exists. Has he? Prove it. Let, let me ask you a question. Do then you then why to... don't I believe him if he's already given oh, that's everything easy. that I that would take for me to well. believe? You... You suppress the truth and unrighteousness. Making yet more claims without any proof to back it up. Do you do you go I, to the no, mall? I accept evidence and I accept, you know. So so you accept scientific evidence? Um for the most part, yeah. Okay, do you accept any other kind of evidence? Whatever what other kind is there? I'm asking, do you, do you only accept scientific evidence or not? What other kind is there? Well, we, we, we could look at philosophy. We could look at what I'm giving you with uh, the presuppositional argument that you're trying to argue against. Uh, what am I going to call you? Imbecile? Moron? Idiot? Your presuppositional argument can be used for anything. All we have to do is fill in the blank. You're using blank to deny blank. You're using Allah to deny Allah. You're using Vishnu to deny Vishnu. You're using the flying spaghetti monster to deny the flying spaghetti monster. Uh, so the, the reality is, is that if you're arguing that the only evidence you're going to accept is that from a natural world, from a material world, to prove an immaterial thing, then that is that would be like me demanding from you to tell me how many feet eight gallons of water weigh? Did you pull that thing out of your ass? Because it sure smells like it. Could you answer that? How many feet eight gallons of water weigh? Yeah. They're different units of measurement, different. Correct. Different entirely. So no. Correct. So you're demanding evidence, but you're you want to set it for up for something there is no evidence for. The, well, you're, you're, you're demanding evidence, but you're asking for evidence that only 
gives you a wrong measurement. So I'm giving you the right measurement and you wanted to reject that and just say, well, that's an assertion. It is an assertion because you can't back up any of your claims. Anybody of any faith on the planet can make exactly the same claim you made about God. Why should we believe you and not them? Well, without the assertion, you can't account for how you know anything apart from God. How do you know that? Because God has revealed himself to every human being. Well, let me ask you this. Do you... How do you know that? Well, that's the question that Andy Baby can never answer. Why? Because he doesn't know the answer. Why? Because there's no answer. Andrew, Andy, Andy Baby, bend over Dover, because there's more coming in part three.